Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of Ramadan Reflections and today we will be talking about an aspect of our being that will be the heaviest on the scales on the Day of Judgment and that is good character. Alhamdulillah, one of the beauties of uh, human beings is the joy and happiness that we can bring to one another's lives. A simple smile, uh, a gift, uh, somebody uh, acknowledging something that you've done for them and saying thank you or Jazakallah khair or any of those kinds of displays of good character, of kindness, of forgiveness, of happiness, it completely transforms the state that a human being is in at that time. And we can transfer emotions and joy and happiness to one another, or we can remove and lift sadness and sorrow from one another. And all of this comes back to a crucial point, and that is good character. And in Islam, the true beauty of an individual and the true reality of an individual and the, th the measure by which they are weighed on the Day of Judgment is about their good deeds, which comes back to good character. And we, the Prophet ﷺ tells us that he was sent to perfect good character. And when we look at the description of the Prophet ﷺ in the Quran, one of the, the greatest uh, verses that talk about the character of the Prophet ﷺ, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ That verily you are upon great and grand character Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam We've mentioned before in the, uh, in the episode about the love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam about his outer form and how he was beautiful and it's one of the reasons of love and also his inner form and that is his good character that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam when he interacted with people that his nature and his good character came out to such an extent that even enemies became lovers of the Prophet ﷺ. And that quality of the Prophet ﷺ is something that we, are, uh, we need to take on within our life. We need to absorb the character of the Prophet ﷺ so when we are walking and when we are talking and when we are interacting, people see the reflection of the character of the Prophet Muhammad If we look at some of the key characteristics of the Prophet in terms of character, then we see that he is known for his truthfulness. And truthfulness is a reflection of the state of the heart, that words reflect our reality internally. And so we begin to cleanse our tongue and have good character with our tongue by reflecting on our heart and making sure that we make a firm resolve between ourselves and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will always tell the truth. And the way that we will always tell the truth is never to do anything or be in a situation or go to a place that you may have to lie about afterwards. So it begins with our actions beforehand, developing that good character. When it comes to trustworthiness, that the Prophet ﷺ was immensely trustworthy. If somebody had given him something in confidence or given him a trust to look after, they knew for certain that the Prophet ﷺ would return it to them and he would not go against the trust that was placed in him ﷺ. To the extent that we see even those who didn't believe in him and that had enmity against him, they even trusted him. That's how much trust the Prophet ﷺ had, had from people. And this is something we need to develop as Muslims that when anybody looks at us as a community of people or as adherents to Islam, that they think automatically these people, Muslims, are trustworthy. These are people that we can trust. Muslims are honest. These are the kinds of words that should come to the minds of people when they think of the word Muslim, when they think of the religion of Islam. And how does that happen? that happens through the way that we conduct ourselves with everybody around us. That everybody is touched by the character and the love and the uh, great teachings of the Prophet Muhammad We see that sharing, caring nature of the Prophet forgiving nature. In the month of Ramadan, on the 21st, we'll go through the conquest of Mecca. And what happens there? People who harmed the Prophet to the highest degree, in every form that you can think of, the Prophet ﷺ, whilst having the ability to take revenge, he seeks the path of peace and he forgives instead. And so good character is something that is absolutely crucial to nurture within ourselves. 
and we have so many teachings and so many examples from the prophets in the Quran, from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam, from the Ahl al-Bayt of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, the Sahaba, these are our role models. And the way that we will change our character is by exposing ourselves to their stories and their teachings. The more you read about them and the more you see about how they conducted themselves in different circumstances, the more you will recollect that when you are in times of needing guidance and how to conduct yourself in difficult situation. Maybe your patience is being tested. Maybe somebody is, is being harsh towards you. Uh, maybe somebody has done good to you. How do you respond to that good? So in all of those aspects, we need to have our point of reference, which is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. And we need to always display that good character, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair for watching another episode of Ramadan Reflections. We pray it's of benefit in this world and in the next world. And we request that you share this message with others.